friends, it's Mitty Man coming back at you from Walk Community. Yet another word for the day. Top of the morning, people. It's about 5.42. And I'm already up and out, ready to go. Sunday morning, worship service on my mind. Give God the glory, give Him all the praise for life, health, and strength. Taught us this morning with the finger of love, and our eyes flew wide open. And for that, we give him honor and the praise and the thanks. It could have been another way. Also giving a shout out to the YouTube fam. From Baby Justice, all the way to Big Papa JT as well as Mama JT. Also giving shout outs and heads up to the brothers from Kingdom Knowledge, Brother P.P. Drawing, Brother Hawking Cliff. Uh, three of the people that are keeping close contact with me. They keep in close contact with me on current events, on the time of the videos, and I do so much enjoy them, as well as Brother G.A. Dalt, 2010, and he just did a, a whole new teaching series on the Book of Daniel. Nevertheless, people, I come this morning, and I, I kind of, sort of, a little bit vexed in my spirit a little bit, I should say. Um, you don't want to call names. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put people in a bad light, even though sometimes I feel like that's what we should do. Glad to me if we embarrass some people sometimes, maybe they would act better. Maybe, maybe. But I don't think some people really actually care. It would just so happen that uh, uh, I had a pastor ask me to... Uh, do something, you know, for, with a song, you know, with choir members and everything, you know. She wanted me to, uh, she had wanted me to sing the song, you know, teach it to the choir, you know. I was, uh, I got the song ready to do just that. Then I got a call that, uh, can't get no choir member to practice. This, this is, now this is what we got in charge in church, praise now. You can't get nobody to want to go to practice. Laziness. Now, what do that do for your motivation? If you already, you already sometimes struggle people to find. It's to get very, very hard. I was talking to Brother Hot and Cliff on last evening. And me and Brother JT have talked about this same issue. About it's already hard enough to find the motivation to deal with church choir in the church period with so much mess in them and God knows this it looked like all of mine I don't know about you fellas but it looked like every one of my churches is in mess yeah I mean in some shape form or fashion it's in some sort of mess our dilemma at any rate when I get it seems like when I get a little bit trouble in my spirit my mind it looks like my mind uh gets on my great grandma that raised me. My great grandpa, he was he died when I was very, very young. I think I was only he died about he died in June of sixty five. I think I was like well I was three going on four. That's what it was. Cause he died in June of sixty five and my birthday that same year would have been November third in sixty five I'd have been five to turn four. So I was like three going on four when my great grandpa died. I must admit that uh, I was my great grandpa. I was uh, well. I was the only child when he was uh, well. Actually, yes, I was the only child when he died. With my mom. I, my, I was the only child, firstborn. My younger sister. She was born the same year. Matter. Well, actually, actually, let me take that back. I wasn't the only child. The oldest child comes. But I had a sister that was born the previous year in August of that year, so she would ha she hadn't even turned one when uh when my great grandpa died. But uh, I was told by my great grandma that's the one that's in the nursing home right now, as well as my great auntie that's done passed on herself. But I was told that uh I was sort of like his heart. I never knew it like I said I was too young, but he he gave my great grandma uh some uh, directives about me 
before I was even, you know, old enough to know what was going on. And she done what they said she asked her to do to make certain that I got education. Make sure I went to school and got and, and, and I had the thing that a child needed to in order to succeed. And uh, I must admit, she lived all the way through my life. She passed away when I was in Barry College. I was in senior college when she passed away. It was around March the 17th, 1985. And it seems as though I know y'all were saying, well, what are you what you talking about? Well, it seemed like every time that I be having uh and I mean, people, this might just be a coincidence, I don't know, but it seemed like every time I'd be having calamities in my life, a circumstance where it, get to, where, where it seemed like it started getting me down or confused, I always dream about it. And it always come to me, and it's sort of like, I guess you would say, it sort of like boosts me up a little bit to try to give me encouragement, I reckon. I don't know, people, I can't explain it, and I'm not, and I'm not superstitious. So, you know, that makes me, that makes, but I, I notice that, though, every time I get low in spirit, it seems as though that I dream about my grandma and my great, my great grandma and my great grandpa. And as I did this very night, and I believe that's why I'm up so early this morning, because of the fact, and, as, and it always make, wakes me up on a high note, and I be full of joy. I don't mean, it don't be no sadness or nothing like that. But I, it just, it's just ironic that, Every time I get low in my spirit like that, and when stuff start happening, cause a lot of calamity in my life right now. But I'm not kicking against it. I'm, I'm looking up toward heaven. I'm looking to the hills, because like you said, when uh, the brother said the other day, people get mad at like brother J. Dawson. So people will get mad at you for telling them the truth. Well, you know, people just gonna have to get mad because many men gonna tell the truth. Many man gonna tell the truth to the best of his ability at all costs. Even when it comes to me, if I don't pull no more punches on myself, then you know I'm not going to pull no punches for nobody else. Because the truth will set you free. The truth that you act upon certainly will set you free. Uh, so with that said, like I said, I, I, it really got me to count down when after the pastor asked for that. And then you can't do it because of the fact that people don't got so relaxed in church. Now, that's what it is. It just don't, don't. You want to do anything, everybody, they got a headache. Uh, I never heard of the, the excuses that people give to keep from doing things. And they say they love the Lord. I just don't understand it. I mean, a lot of times I sit here, people, and I don't feel the best. A lot of morning, you see me sit before this camera, I don't feel my best. A lot of morning when I'm dressed like this to go out, to do what good, thus said the Lord, and do what my part and my portion. That's my reasonable service. I don't feel good all the time. A lot of mornings I leave here. I don't feel good, but I don't use that an excuse to not go. I go and do my duty and pray to the Lord by strength. Just like now, I pray to the Lord all our strength, the one that got to go out and deal with this, this stuff that day by day, year by year, week by week. With that said, people, I'm just going to come back and I'm going to comment on a certain thing and I'm going to do it from the mind and the heart. Jesus said, in this life, in this world, we would have trials and tribulations. I'm a witness. I'm quite sure you got some things that you could be a witness to also. Jesus said, but be of good cheer. He's overcome. And just as he overcame, so will we. So we can be of good cheer. And another thing, people. I read the end of the book. We win. But until then, people, we just simply must learn how to fight. Number one, the devil is never going to quit. Let me give y'all a wake-up call. Bum, 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 bum. The devil is never going to quit. You're just simply going to have to learn how to fight. Now, as far as for myself, I've been in this fight now. Might as well say all year. I've been in this here fight. This this one particular fight, I've been in it all year. And uh, it seems like it just it's a never-ending battle, but I'm yet in there. So... Struggling don't mean people you've up. Struggling means one thing. That means that you're not giving up. That's all that means. When, a, when you're struggling, that means you haven't given in. So now when you stop struggling, that means you don't quit. You think about it. Go, go back to the fish. I tell you, if a fish would keep his mouth closed, even he wouldn't get caught. But you go back to the fish on a hook. As long as that fisherman, he's struggling, that, that fish is struggling. He can't hardly get that fish out of that water long that fish struggling. But when the fish gives up, 
that's when he can dip the net down there and pick him up and give him. So if you're struggling, that's just a pure sign that you haven't given up yet. And so I say to you and encourage myself. I'm being like David this morning. I'm going to encourage myself. Let, just keep struggling. Keep struggling. Keep struggling. And keep looking toward the hill from which comes your help. For guess what? Our help comes from the Lord. This is Mitty Man hoping that everybody have a good worship experience this morning. And do all for the glory of God, people. Do all for the glory of God. God bless you. This is Mitty Man saying peace. Goodbye.